Everyone has a past, and tonight we look into the past of the man tapped to be the Deputy Director of Public Health and Social Services. How he may or may not be the best man to help the incoming administration. Leo Casil has served the Calvo administration before. He was the Director of Administration under former Governor Paul Calvo, and he hasn't exactly been a model employee. According to a January 11, 1983 article in the Pacific Daily News, Allegations surfaced that close to a million dollars in GovGuam supplies had gone missing from the Supply Management Division under Cassell's watch. In a phone interview today, Cassell told us, I didn't take the supplies, and that I never had any bad intentions when I got involved. My intentions were different then than they are now. We asked Cassell if he feels that this blemish on his GovGuam career would negatively impact his new role as Deputy Director of Public Health. He told us, no, I don't think so. Cassell also confirmed to us that he is a convicted felon, saying that I was young and gung-ho and got involved in something. I never knew at that time, and in those days, I never thought about what I was getting into. I paid my debt. That may be, but the law suggests his re-entry into public service may be more difficult than anticipated. Title IV of the Guam Code Annotated says that any person nominated to a position a nomination letter shall be delivered to the office of the speaker and shall include whether the nominee has been found guilty of a felony, the date of conviction, and the specific infraction committed. It goes on to say that if any person whose name is submitted to the legislature for confirmation is convicted of any felony while the nomination is pending, the nomination shall be considered automatically withdrawn upon such conviction. Casil declined an on-camera interview today on whether his conviction would have any impact on his involvement with federal funds at public health. He said, I've worked for Catholic Social Services for years and have handled federal funds. It shouldn't be a problem. Casil also told us, I'm not perfect. I just want to help the people of Guam in my capacity as Deputy Director. For Guam News Watch, I'm Michael Rudolph. Thank you, Mike.